Daisy chain refers to a hardware device that is continuously connected. As shown in the figure, there is no limit on the number of connected slave nodes when configuring a daisy chain. Each slave device in the daisy chain can allocate address as a slave device number by hardware, but it can also assign address by software. As shown in the figure, when many slave devices are connected to UART or 232 rupees daisy chain, some delay occurs. This connection is very simple in hardware and very easy to implement in software. The disadvantage is that if too many slave devices are connected, there will be some response delay until the master receives a response. When one slave device stops operating, all devices connected to the bus can no longer communicate. Start at the TX pin of the master and connect to the RX pin of the slave and connect it to the TX pin and the next RX pin again. And finally, the TX pin of the last slave is connected to the RX pin of the master. We will use software addressing here. That is, it is not necessary to determine the address of each slave device as hardware. Slave device addresses are assigned in order from the master in the connected sequence. For example, we use simple packet structure of slave address plus command plus payload for each one byte of packet. After the first bus is connected and or power up, the master must assign an addressing packet to each slave device. Master sends one plus command underscore addressing plus dummy packet. Now all slave devices have their own address. If the address of the next incoming packet matches its address, it should respond according to the command. Since slave device number 1 has received 1 plus command underscore addressing plus dummy packet, it should store 1 as its own address in process if receive address 1 packet from next. It then increments the address by 1 to send 2 plus command underscore addressing plus dummy packet to next slave device. Slave device number 2 has received a command underscore addressing packet as 2 plus command underscore addressing plus dummy, so it stores address 2 as its own address. Receiving a packet of slave address 2 from the next ship process. Finally, when n plus command underscore addressing plus dummy is entered in the master, the master remembers that the number of slave devices connected to the bus is n minus 1. For example, the structure of the data packet is address plus command plus payload. If suppose you want to read the state of slave device number 2. Master sends 2 plus read underscore status plus dummy packets. In this way, the master received the requested response from slave device number 2. Other commands can be processed in a similar way. You only need to modify the structure of the packet according to your needs. Slave device number 1 receives the packet, and checks the address. It does not match its own address, so it sends the packet back to the next slave device. Slave device number 2 receives the packet and matches its address, so it sends its state to the next slave device with reply packet. At this time, the packet can be transmitted by sending 2 plus read underscore status plus status packet it using the address 2 of slave device number 2 then the next slave devices cannot have address 2, so they continue to reply and the master will finally receive the packet. I hope this has helped you.